Today, we're making a video responding to a YouTube comment. Let's have some fun. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and uh, I recently got a comment on one of my videos. Uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, if we look here, uh, this comment is asking, um, Resilio, it's a program uh, that synchronizes files, Resilio Sync, that you keep files in synchronization wherever they are, uh, whether it's local or over the internet, anything you want to do. Uh, I'll put a link to that video in this uh, description below. But uh, the question was, can I make a video that shows synchronization when you're working with a you delete a file, rename a file or folder, uh, move a folder, anything that's part of that synchronization. Um, and, and that's what it does. It does do that. It does make sure that everything that's there is in sync. Um, it, so you add files, you remove files, you do anything and make sure that those changes are moved across. But just so you can you can see it in action, I thought we would do uh, this quick video. Okay, I have sync running on my NAS, uh, my Synology NAS. You can get sync uh, for Synology NAS and several other NAS devices, I believe. And then I have on my desktop, I have uh, it running here locally on my desktop. So I've got NAS in the other room, I've got my desktop here. I've synchronized this folder between the two uh, systems. I am using Pro, so that is another thing that you can get more options with the Pro version. Um, and I'll show you some of those once we get done with the demonstration here of the sync stuff. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, two folders. So this folder on top is my NAS uh, over there. It's got all the all these full. Uh, files, folders, everything here. Then locally, I have the same files and folders. So if I take any file here, like this little three Evernote file that I have here, and I drag it up in here to this OBS Studio folder, within a few seconds, boom, it's changed on the upper folder. Okay, so I have this file folder here. It's named M3, uh, and I put an ABC uh, after the file name, and within a few seconds, once it does, it realizes it's changed, uh, then it will change it up on the upper folder. What if I have to, nope, there it goes. So boom, it's renamed that folder. And where did my files go? There we go. Now they're, okay, they're there. Just took a second for it to update. So I guess that's the key, right, is if you're gonna be doing a lot of changes, maybe make the change wait for the confirmation that it's synchronized um, you can take folders and drag them inside folders and then those will also synchronize you can see it just synchronized up on top that my m folder is now uh, over here uh, so it doesn't mean you can deleting files it does the same thing now you have to set it up as a read write otherwise it's only going to go one way so there, the, that file just deleted from the top one. So sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, but it's not real bad. Um, but yeah, definitely you can set up different folders to be synchronized in different ways. Um, where's my other, here we go. So this folder, like if I wanted to share this folder, I can share it in different ways. I can do read only, read write. So read only is not gonna, it's gonna pull those things over, but if you, make any changes on the target it's not going to reflect back so you have to if you uh, you'd have to know that right you got to know that that's only a one way read write the source what you're considering source and target are going to get both changes right so you get if you and those changes are going to flow uh, both ways within the software now you can do if you want to make this a little bit easier for yourself if you have the pro version like I do, that's on, on desktops, I have the pro desktop version, come down here and do selective sync and turn that on. Now what that allows me to do says, when I click sync local folders, when I click, uh, what is it? It's going to be uh, selective sync is on. And where is this? Uh, somewhere there's a, no, where to go? Okay, you just click it. I thought, okay, so you click it, the link. I was right clicking, anyway. So you click the link and it comes here and there's all the folders and you can come here and you can turn off sync and say, remove from this device. 
or removed from all devices. So you can pull things that you don't want to sync maybe as you go through and get things cleaned up. You can go through and stop synchronizing different folders from one side to the other. But you have to know if you're going to remove it from one device. You know, remove from all devices removes it from both places. Remove from this device just means, boom, it's gone from there. But be careful with that. You know, you don't want to... You want to have a backup, I guess, of all your files and stuff when, you, when you're doing this, you know, to make sure that it, everything goes through okay. All right, but as you can see, everything was copying and moving, and, you know, I'm dragging and dropping these things. I can move them. If I make a mistake, I can move it back. Um, you know, if I, uh, if I drag and drop that in there, and then I see that, oh, on the other one, it does it, and I hit Control-Z, which brings it back, that's the same thing. It's good just going to just undo what it did on the other one at some point. So, um, ah, I had turned Selective Sync on, and it wasn't resyncing that folder. So be aware of that, that if you're going to move these things around and you have Selective Sync on, then it's not going to sync those folders until you go back and tell it to do that. So uh, be aware of that. So in that case, I would just leave that feature off. Okay. So uh, there we go. All right. So that is Resilio Sync, and it's moving files around for you. And, it, and that's you know, part of its function, right, is to take all of these specific files and, and keep them synchronized. And um, it, it does its job. So like I said, you probably have to maybe make a change and then wait for it to confirm, especially when you're just renaming or moving files. If you're transferring everything, just go ahead and transfer everything, you know, get it all moved over there kind of thing. But once you get that done and you're renaming and moving things around, you know, wait for you, wait for the confirmation. I mean, it'll do it, but if you're moving like folders within folders within folders and doing some organization like that, I think I would wait for each one of those subfolders to get populated and get everything done. All right. So there you go. That's your answer. And uh, thanks for watching and thanks for commenting. Take care. Thanks. Thank you.